our thoughts on Shazam Fury of the Gods. Yeah. So we saw it together yeah. yesterday. Last and, night. And um, I think I liked it a bit more than you did, which was yeah. to be expected if anyone listens to this podcast. Right. You're more of a fan of the first movie. So. Um, and um, just general impressions before I guess we get into spoilery topic like or territory. Right. Um, I... I don't. I didn't like it as much as the first one, mm-hmm. which I feel like I've heard from a bunch of people across the board. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, but it, I still had a good time mm-hmm. uh, compared to other comic book movies in recent memory. I like it. Like it's the most fun I've had a comic book movie since. And I, I wouldn't say that I had a lot of fun at Wakanda Forever. Uh huh. But like, but that's since, not like a fun movie right you know it's just that's like a, a really emotionally like heavy story right yeah so i mean the last time that i had like this amount of fun at a at a at a superhero movie was probably doctor strange um okay. like similar similar levels yeah i might like doctor strange a little bit more um but yeah i i, I will say that like not much more but for me it's it's but yeah, it, yeah it's definitely sorry. better than you know most comic book movies recently for me. Um, it wasn't by far, it wasn't a, a perfect movie by any means. It had a lot of issues, but for me, it was enjoyable. And a lot of the comedy, although it's not as funny as the first one, the comedy saves it, but it also detracts from it at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, we'll we'll go into specifics, but I mean, what's your general impression my, of it? Yeah, my general thoughts, like, I walked out of the theater saying, I didn't hate it. Um, walked out of the theater. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. No, no, I didn't, yeah, I didn't actually walk out of the theater while it was showing. But, you know, like, leaving the movie theater, yes, I said. No, no, you said walking into the movie theater. Oh, you, I said that? Okay, yeah. my bad, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, walking out of the theater, I said I didn't, I didn't hate it. Um, but yeah, I definitely didn't, didn't think it was a good movie. You didn't think it was good? I did not. Like, I did not. Um, like you wouldn't even like it's it's just like what there's it's like, good, there's it's, it's okay at best for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and like that's I mean, the thing is okay. that like it, it it just misses the mark on so many things like that that it tried to do, I guess. Like like the story I just I didn't think was there. I, I didn't think like most of the time humor wise it was there. I think it had some like I think it had some good jokes that I actually laughed at. But yeah. but yeah, I mean most of the time I, I wasn't. And um I think I think action wise it it doesn't it doesn't hit the mark. I, I think, you know, Zachary Levi doesn't hit the mark. I, I think it's just yeah. it's a lot of things that just yeah, that just don't that don't add up into a, a good movie, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't feel as as middle of the road about it as you do, but I definitely agree with like what you're saying. I guess I I just it just hit me in a different way cuz yeah. because the action scenes weren't particularly they weren't bad. They weren't bad. It's just they, they, they weren't they, memorable. No, like I weren't. like I watched it last night and I can't I can't picture an action scene that happened. Like the only one I can think of is at the end when he's like shooting the lightning lightning bolts in the orb. Yeah. Like that's the only thing I can think of. Cuz to be fair, a lot of the quote unquote action scenes are more of um trying to grab the uh staff. Sure. Right? Like yeah. trying to grab the staff or saving trying to save the bridge Mm -hmm. so it's it's not a lot of fighting it's just trying to you know do things very superhero like yeah um which like you don't really i i i don't think you it needed to have fight quote-unquote fight scenes sure Um, sure but like I I, i i but i will agree like it's just it's like the action was it was fine like yeah there wasn't a lot of you know as much as like I do prefer this to like probably Black Adam, um, the action mm. I will say that the action in Black Adam was better. Um, if we're gonna compare things, um, <sighs> that's funny. and I only yeah. compare it because it's recent and also that the two characters are, re- you know, right. sp- related I mean, I to would, each other. I would disagree with that statement. I think I prefer Black Adam more than this. 
Yeah. No, I yeah, no, not yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, I like Black Adam and and right. the and and I think the main thing about Black Adam that I liked that would make me is because there were fun moments like with the Justice Society yeah. and the action was very good, right. but everything else about that movie was not good. Not good. Yeah, mo- like there was a lot of bad things in that, but like the action was was great. I think the the story was was decent enough. And and I it wasn't think that, as good as this story. This story had a little bit more heart to it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I guess. I'm not saying that the story's great. I'm just yeah. saying that, like, I, I don't. Anyways, we're we're not here to talk about Black Adam well, necessarily. I mean, sure, but I mean, we'll, it does relate. <laughs> sure, sure. But um, I mean, I also agree with what you're saying about Zachary Levi, which I think, weirdly enough, is one of the strongest detractors of the movie. Yeah. Um, is there should have been a lot more of kid Billy Batson. I was, th- I, we didn't even talk about that, but I was thinking the same thing. It was almost like, like, like Shazam was there 80% of the time. And then you had Billy Batson, like 20%. And, yeah. and, and it could have been even worse than that. Like, I feel like he barely got any screen time. Yeah. He didn't really get a lot of screen time. Yeah. And he, like a lot of the emotional things that we should be like, um, experiencing through for Billy. Right. We experience through Zachary Levi's yeah. version of Billy. Yeah. And he doesn't exactly as I love Zachary yeah. Levi, but he doesn't exactly like He doesn't he doesn't personify Billy Batson. Like when me. he's like, you're gonna age out. Yeah. When you turn 18 and he's getting upset about that, it's all as sh- sh- the Shazam version of himself. Uh-huh. And so this thing yeah. of like trying to feel empathy for this person who's like a middle-aged man. And, w- and what's crazy is that when that moment finally hit me, like the, for that storyline was when he was like kid Billy Batson. Exactly. And I was like, okay, this is what the movie was missing. And then he goes right back to being Shazam. And maybe there's something with the director that was maybe Billy wanted to be Shazam more mm-hmm. so that he didn't have to feel like this kid who is going to age out, which I could sure. see. I mean, he's but, already feeling like imposter syndrome right. from this ep- from episode, from this movie. But um, yeah, I, I just don't think that those emotional moments with Zachary Levi worked, ex- especially because also Zachary Levi, he, I thought he did a really good job in the first movie of balance, of balancing between the kid Billy and being yeah, older. I was more critical of that. But. Um, he he wasn't perfect, but at least in this movie, it it bordered on just it was it got really annoying it and was, also like yeah. unrealistic because yeah. it it didn't feel like Billy would be as ridiculous. It was super noticeable, I, like because it like the the kid had aged up four years, <laughs> but like Shazam, you know his adult version like aged down two years, like from the first movie. It was like yeah, he definitely seemed he, more yeah more immature, immature and. And, and yeah, just Reckless. way more hyper. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, it was like he was a, yeah, like a 13 year old instead of an 18 year old. Or yeah. sorry, he's supposed to be 17. But yeah. yeah. I mean, I just didn't feel like Billy was saying the things yeah. that right. Shazam was saying, you know? Yeah. That's the thing too, is that like they had a, it had a similar relationship, but like Freddie and kid Billy Batson didn't feel exactly the same to me as like Freddie and, and Shazam, like adult Billy Batson, you know? What what are you saying? Like like their relationship. Oh, like I I like the chemistry was was there in both in both instances, but it just it felt a little different each time. You know, hmm. I, I will say one of the positives about was Freddie. Yeah, like Freddie was really felt more like the heart of the but movie. I would also say he was a positive for me in the first movie. Yeah, he was yeah. a positive in the first movie too. Right for and, me too. And. Like, I, yes, I like the character Freddy. I think he has some funny moments in this movie. I just think the storyline they ended up giving him wasn't wasn't the greatest with with Anne. Um, no. Yeah, and so for this is you know where spoilers are going to start coming in. Well, but, I feel like um, we've been spoiling a little bit. But, sure, but you know minor things. Sure, but um, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, basically he ends up meeting this girl at school who he saves from who he saves from some bullies. And um, it's revealed later on that he's actually one of, or sorry, that she is one of the three sisters uh, sent from Olympus. Do you just, remember? Just their daughters yeah, just, of Atlas. Yeah, the daughters of Atlas. So yeah, she's one of the daughters of Atlas, 
And she's basically one of the three villains of this movie. Um, although she she acts like a good guy the entire time. And um, I think her intentions, like the the sister's intentions were just, let's get the powers back. Yeah. And take get the get apple the seed, right. and plant it in like their realm. Yeah. And so in a lot of ways, it didn't really... She wasn't like trying to do anything bad to Earth. She was just going to try to get the powers back. I don't think she really but wanted even, to hurt anybody necessarily. But it even felt like she was against like taking the powers back, you know? Whereas, yeah, whereas a, like the older sister didn't. At a certain point, yeah, things started to change. And yeah. it was like, so is this character just becoming like a love interest? And, and that basically was, she did. She just became a love interest for Freddie. And and what made it even like more uncomfortable was that Freddie is Freddie is like a seventeen year old you know kid. He's yeah. just he's just he's just hanging out at school. And then she's a six thousand year old goddess. And and then at the end of the movie, they're they're holding hands in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they make a joke about their kids liking older women because yeah. Shazam has a whole thing for well, Wonder Woman. Yeah, the entire movie it's kind Which, of a run on that, joke. That works because she's obviously because she's not, not into, into him. It. Yeah, right. But now and like it. Like yeah. Anne is a perpetual. Here's the thing: that relationship doesn't seem like it's going to work out in any way because she Agreed. she can't she can't age up. So like, yeah. Even even though it is it's weird to begin with that she's super way older than him. Uh-huh. Um, he's going to get to the point where he's like <laughs> in his 30s and he's still dating like a 17 year old <laughs> looking like girl. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. So yeah, that's in a, in a way, like it'll it'll just look bad on him. It'll look inappropriate for for him, but it's way more appropriate for her. Yeah. So yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get, yeah, get back on a track, little, a little, just yeah, it's weird. but like yeah, he didn't have the best story. I did enjoy yeah. his moments with the wizard. I thought that they had a lot of chemistry for the most part. I thought the wizard. Uh, Jaimon Hansu was incredible. He was so funny and yeah. like entertaining to watch. Yeah, this was definitely probably the funniest role I'd seen him in. Um, and he was stronger than the, in this than in the first one. Yeah, I would so, say so. Yeah, he was yeah. really good in this for sure. I thought Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu, they felt uh, they felt flat for me. They they weren't they weren't they just weren't they were they weren't, okay. They were nothing special to me. I don't know. They, yeah, they were they were fine for me. Um, like especially Lucy Liu, like I she in, felt she felt like the most generic yeah. villain ever. I was gonna say Helen Mirren had a little bit more right. nuances. Yeah, and I liked how the villain, uh, I don't know, the storyline with the villains was it wasn't it was still like kind of paint by numbers, mm-hmm. but it was a little bit more different because now there there's an argument between the three of them and they're yeah, all starting to fight each I'll other. Give it that. Like I, I definitely did like yeah, like conflict between the three of them. Um but, but yeah, go on. I, I liked the 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 kids, all the kids, the Shazam family, they all had their moments in a way. And I I will say yeah, that in a way. uh the 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 older girl, Mary, Mary uh-huh. she was starting to have a, a a plot. Like she was starting to have an arc, and then yeah. and then it just never. It they never did anywhere. anything with it. Like yeah, basically her plot was that she was kind of upset that she didn't go to college, and and stuck around to be you know one of the Shazam kids. Yeah. Um, and and then you know and then like there was another scene later on where she was. Like she had gone out the last night, right? And had gone out with people her age. And then yet that just went nowhere. Yeah, that was the end of that. Yeah. That was, which didn't exactly hit me until now, but yeah. I agree. It didn't hit me either. um, But all the other kids, like they didn't have really any arcs. They were just there for, I mean, mean, except for like one of them was, it was, it was nice. Like they had a nice moment of them coming out as being gay. Yeah. That was a little thread they had throughout the movie. But that was, that really felt like the only thing that that character. Oh yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Like oh, and he oh, he's bad at dodgeball. Oh, he's bad at dodgeball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were they had funny moments. Yeah. Like the 
uh, who's the girl that like gets likes the unicorns? Do you remember her name? I don't remember her name. I mean, she had funny yeah. moments. She's purple Shazam. Yeah, yeah, like sh- they were all entertaining. I like them as their adult versions and their younger yeah, versions. I, I thought it's- the actors did a good job, like the older Shazams, um, portraying those. I guess I I will say, like the Asian guy didn't really like. I didn't really believe that he was Asian kid, but you know. Why? I just, it just, I don't know. Maybe it was like the macho, like deep voice on him that just like threw me off so hard. But like, I just, there was just nothing about him that huh. like felt like the nerdy little kid that we saw. I don't know. He still felt like it to, the to only, me personally. The only thing was like when we, when we knew or when they said beforehand that he had been like, um, searching all like the doors yeah. uh, uh, in that whatever realm they were in. Yeah. Um, the rock of eternity. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, sure. That, that, yeah, sure. That's the name. That's it most, is the name. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think. I don't know. Like, even though, yeah, the Shazam kids were fine. Like they they ended up like throwing him away like to to just isolate Billy at the end. Right. Um. Gosh. The which the, I yeah we have yeah, issues the, with the the whole third act. I I just I'm not a fan of it all. Like basically, you know the the Shazam kids without powers to fight off the the seed that's been planted here in in the Earth realm. Uh. It, they. Oh, sorry. And I should say. The earth, the earth uh, realm with the seed being planted in it had all these orcs and like mythical creatures pop up yeah. that started terrorizing Philadelphia. And um, to stop that, they they decided to go out and try and find some unicorns because they're like the scariest beasts in mythology. Or like the the king of the beasts. Right. Yeah. And, and they all end up uh, taming unicorns with Skittles. That was kind of funny. I, it was it, it was, was just it was such dumb. blatant ad ad placement. It was dumb. Yeah, but it, but it was funny a little bit, a yeah. little yeah. bit. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say so. The only but. the only part that was funny was when that the girl was like, "Taste the rainbow," and like, yeah, it was dumb. Uh, but it something. It was kind of funny. It was just kind of funny. Well, to um, me, like, I it was also kind of cringe, but it yeah. was also kind of funny. But yeah, I mean. That's that's the end of their plot at that point is that they're just but, riding unicorns around while Billy's fighting. Right. And like I think that's that's one part of the movie that I was just like why are we why even? Yeah, like maybe on even? paper it was like oh this is going to like really right, work. We got to have some people on the ground level this fighting is, all these monsters. Right. But like the, it's like they had like they had to cut like cuz obviously like it it felt like the whole movie you didn't really have a moment where it was just Shazam like Billy doing stuff which yeah. like I don't think you necessarily needed that but no, you didn't because I genuinely think the progression from the first movie should have just been like I'll, let's just let's just all be a group and not like not try and go back to being just purely Billy you right know? and I and I think the way that it built up like there was a there was a lot of emotional payoff with like him doing it like for his family and having that emotional moment between his like yeah. foster mom and then Freddie at the end. Like there was a lot of good emotional payoff, but, um, and like, I have no problem with them isolating Billy and doing all that. Cause I thought that narratively worked and I thought it was emotional and I thought it was well done. And he started to like, like it, it was like all about his heart. Like that being like one of the best attributes of him and why he's the ch- he was the sure. chosen champion, but sure. they really did not need to give um, all of like I under I understand like there needed to be maybe something to some way to deal with these monsters, mm-hmm. but that's only because they were written in that there were monsters. Yeah, there didn't need to be. Um, it could have just been like this: this massive tree is destroying the. Like that's the city because right. of all of its roots, and right? Whatnot. So, yeah. it, just the idea of these, like them riding these unicorns, and also the the foster mom and dad, like just kind of like, oh, our, uh, yeah. our kids are going off, and we don't really know how to parent, and right, that's, and then Freddie going off, yeah. and I complained and about Freddie that. did a bunch of things where 
it was like, that's impossible. You shouldn't be able to do that. Like when Hesper, not Hespera, um, Calypso, which was Lucy Liu's character, mm-hmm. was like trying to get the names out of uh, him. He was like fighting it off really well. And then I the same- actually like that scene a lot. I liked it yeah, a lot. And that, he, his acting that. is, yeah. a, he's a really good actor, or at least yeah. him as Freddy is very well done. I think so. Um, but, and then him with the dragon at the end with Anne was like, he was fighting it off and like, I feel like there's supposed to maybe be something going on there in the future, but I don't know. It, yeah. it was a little, yeah, I don't know. I no, mean yeah. like for that whole moment though, like that dragon could have easily just killed them instead of doing this fear thing for like a minute long. You yeah, know, that was, that was also <sighs> interesting. Like, I feel like there was just like the plot was so like, like almost loose at points that it just, like I, I don't remember certain like certain plot points connecting to other plot points. Like to me, like I, I almost don't remember how the dragon like spawned in their house. Like how the hell did that happen? Uh, and I then, think and then the it, door. Like there was, a, I think somehow oh, they get to the yeah, door. No, they, that's right. They went through the door. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. Regardless. Um, and like we had an issue with when Shazam. Uh, goes to where Billy or uh, Freddie is and he gets the staff and then he th- immediately th- throws it to, <laughs> to Freddie to who Freddy. then gets intercepted by Lucy Lou, I think. And we were like, why would he throw it? And right. Uh, he just got it. Why he would he throw it? it? Yeah. I don't know why he would throw it other than I he's think, a dumb kid. That's why. Well, <laughs> I think if Freddie touches it, because I think his cane ended up touching the when when Lucy Liu oh, caught he could it, become Shazam again. He could become Shazam again. Okay, but maybe you could have. And the only reason that they they did that because the, you you could have narratively been like, and then I'm gonna grab Freddy really quick, and then we're gonna go. Uh, you could have done some probably a yeah. bunch of other things. The only uh-huh. reason that they did that is because if he took it, the staff like there would be no uh, drama. There would be no. Ending. Sure, there was right. there we couldn't build the story anymore. Like they had to yeah, have Shaz- that. Staff. Basically, Shazam just couldn't have the staff yet. Because we because have to have the have story. Have final arc. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it was And if anything, yeah. if they didn't have it and they came up with a different way to get it, it might have been more interesting. Instead yeah. of just like, oh, let me give let me it to you real quick because right I'm room. a I'm yeah. a dumb kid, I guess. Which makes yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. I think And then we can get to the yeah, ending, the, the ending maybe. and whatnot. Yeah, so I like that's where I was where I gonna go. Um I think the the ending isn't it's not like the the sacrifice Billy makes is terrible. No. Because I think if you if you left it at a sacrifice, this could have been a very like emotional like <laughs> like a very weightful ending, I guess, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Which it was. It it was at the at, at that point. Yes. And then and then you introduce uh, Wonder Woman at the very end, who had Which just was, kind of been a joke, yes. like re- reoccurring joke throughout the movie that he wants to date or sleep with Wonder Woman. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and she, yeah, she comes in and she's like, "Yep, there is a god left here on Earth," mm-hmm. and and she grabs the staff and plants it into the earth, and uh, I guess a uh, Zeus's lightning comes down and strikes it. Mm-hmm. Um, and and with that, basically, Anne gets her powers back. All the Shazam kids gets her powers back. Yep. And Billy comes uh, back to life and pops up out of the grave. Yeah. Um, I think I think like even though I don't like like most of this movie, this might be my like least favorite part, which is very understandable. Yeah, I because mean, it's a bunch of it's 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 just frustrating because first of all, a from last week, we were talking about they just put Wonder Woman in a TV ad. Yeah. So, so I we knew already it, knew this was coming. We knew it was coming. Yeah. It would have, it at, at first, like if it was the first time seeing it, I would have been like excited. Sure. Way more excited. But it would immediately be cut off from me being excited to be like narratively. This the only reason that Billy's coming back is because this because character came exists. out of nowhere. Yeah. And just did this thing, like, and... like to me, that's that's so annoying to to have such a crucial part of your plot just be like, yeah, this character exists in our universe. Let's just bring her here. Like, what is that? What kind of writing is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's very 
like straight up comic book, like something that would happen in a comic book, and it would be fine in a comic book. Uh, but in a movie, it's it's like, oh, and then this random character that like we know about her, right? But it it was a, a it was just kind of ridiculous. Well, to be like, thing. oh yeah, and then they also just never explained why she knew Billy was dead, why why she knew they were there. That's she a, just she just knew everything. Yeah, that's a, that's one issue with having a connected universe is um how. how how many like do you do do Superman or Batman or the the Flash? Do they all they gotta know, know stuff's everything? going on, right? Sure. Right. At least at the very least, Superman's probably gotta know what's going on. Yeah. And so you have to think about is he just saying like they have to learn to be superheroes on their own? Well, what about the people who die in the process? Like you could have you could have prevented this. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know, yeah. So that's just kind of me being like a, a ridiculous like comic <laughs> no, book fan I mean, that's, of, that's of just fair. like well, why didn't and and that's where like people who will argue like where's blah blah who's where's Wonder Woman where's yeah. Superman and that's part of the problem with having those characters right in it um, but also yeah like, why wouldn't she go to help at any point. Yeah, These she all, knew all of this. Then, yeah, why wasn't she there to help? You know, right. and obviously it's because we have to have a movie. Yeah. And it can't be Shazam and Wonder Woman. Well, right. it could be, actually. Yeah, it could have been. You could but, have done some Thor Ragnarok shit and, like, had them or meet some up Batman in some Batman way. Batman Superman stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that would have... I mean, she's, re- like, clearly adjacent to things because of gods and magic yeah. and all that, but... Right. She just shows up at the end is like, oh, I fixed your problem. Like it would have been different if if like they were in DC like her, but they're not, you know, they're in Philly. I mean, not that far away. I know it's be- not that. I just, what do you think? She can hear all that shit from that far? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, she's just got the news. I, I, sure, I don't know. When you're sure. Wonder Woman, I mean, it's just whatever. Yeah, it's dumb. No. It, it's whatever. Well, but. Yeah, I mean, besides the actual ending, there's two in credit scenes. Yeah, which are um, super interesting. Which... They they are, and yeah. So I don't know if you want to, or yeah. I, I mean, I can I can introduce them. Um, but yeah, basically the first end credit scene, we have uh, um, it's Economos. A, 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 yeah, I couldn't. I just wanted to call him Diebeard. I didn't want to call him that. Yeah. Uh, and then you have uh, Amelia Harcourt walking down. Uh, this kind of like gravel dirt road and uh, they they're going to meet Shazam mm-hmm. and uh, when they get there he's just kind of like shooting bottles with his with his uh, lightning bolts out of his fingers and uh, yeah they basically are just like hey do you want to join the Justice Society and before they can finish he's like yeah I want to join uh, thinking it's the Justice League yeah and and they're like no yeah you you're gonna be a part of the Justice Society and uh, yeah, and then they just kind of walk off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a l- <laughs> there's a little bit more to it, but yeah, basically, yeah. And, I mean, and like Wall- the most, yeah. they're they're under like orders from Waller, and I guess we can kind of tie this in a little bit to the Shazam uh, news, some that Shazam got, news that we yeah. have, uh-huh. which basically, um, there was originally intended to be members of the Justice Society from the Black Adam movie. Yeah, I heard specifically they wanted Hawkman um, to, to appear. Okay. But, yeah. And Dwayne Johnson kind of cut off their yeah. access or whatever. Veto- basically vetoed that scene from happening. Right. And so... And, and same with having Shazam right. show up in any post credit scene in Black Adam. So, yeah, basically I had heard that the director... Um, basically called up Peter Safran last minute and and he was the one who suggested Amelia Harcourt and uh Economos yeah. to replace replace the Hawkman character. And and yeah, I think um super disappointing to hear that about Dwayne Johnson, even though I'm not like surprised in the least, I guess. Because basically all the reports before the movie came out had been had been in this direction, you know, where he was very controlling about Black Adam's direction, yeah, and very controlling about what the new DC universe would look like, and and this was yeah another instance of it. Yeah, and I feel like there's 
you know, like, I don't think it was bad that Zachary Levi, like, kind of confirmed a lot of this. Yeah, um, because he tried to put out a post basically confirming this report. Right. Yeah. And then I think, I don't know, did he put up the thing that said the truth will set you free? Yeah, that's what he put up. Yeah. Uh, now, it feels to me like people and Zachary Levi are kind of being like, look, Dwayne Johnson like didn't let this happen. So right. stuff with Shazam. So this like, movie was ruined because of it. But right. that's not true. Sure. Like at all. Yeah. It like it's post credit scene stuff. And I have yeah. no doubt that like if Shazam was to have a post credit scene in Black Adam, similar to Superman, maybe there would have been a little bit more hype, mm -hmm. but it's still a whole ass movie. And we're talking about a post credit scene. Sure. sure. And do I think what Dwayne did was kind of dumb? and annoying and but it's also his production company that was in charge of the black adam movie so i can't but it's but but, but you're, but, you're but, supposed to be like a team player company. and you're working with the like the dc universe like right. i feel like somebody should have overrided like, yeah they the, were too scared to say anything to him at that point yeah and and they like that's that's the thing is that yes it's his production company that worked on black adam he, ha he should have no say in what happened on Shazam Fury of the Gods. No. Zero say. I mean, he doesn't own the character of Black Adam. No. Like, no. he's working with DC. Yeah, he doesn't so. own any of, the, any of the characters that were in his movie. So so I think it's a bunch of, like, strong arming that yeah. was kind of petty and annoying. And uh, we know that he didn't like, he didn't want to be associated with Shazam. But, like, you're not... You don't make that you're call. Like, you're literally his villain. Like, how so, do you? It, like, it, yeah. if it, like I know you want to make the fans happy and see you face off against a Superman or at least have Superman come in. And right. we were super excited for sure. But I think a lot of people are. Would, a lot of fans would then after that be immediately saying, "Now we want to see him versus Shazam." Yeah. So you're gonna get there at some point, dude. Right. Why so. not? Why not make it Shazam versus Black Adam, and then after that. Do Black Adam versus Superman, and if anything, right? like I, I, I heard you know that maybe this movie that like Fury of the Gods, uh -huh. like if we would have just had a Black Adam versus Shazam, like him be the villain, like maybe like this movie did it I mean, really it, need to happen? I mean, no, no, no movie ever no. needs to happen, but no, this movie like the villains didn't need to happen from this movie. They could have been replaced easily. Give it another plot. Yeah. yeah. But, but, oh, well, oh, okay. I was going to no, say no, the go other, on. the other thing is that, um, he vetoed, uh, Zachary Levi from appearing mm. at the end of his movie, which, yes, it's so, yes, you have the argument that it's his production company, so he can veto that, but still another petty thing to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause like you could have, and, had... and I think that Zachary yeah. Levi probably didn't put that post up as like an indication of like Dwayne's like done something bad to like harm the success of Shazam. I think he's sure. like more like this dude, like as right. Set us all back. And, mm, and like, at you, least, know, like you know what I mean? At least was right. like, uh, was shedding light on something that had happened. That was really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Um, that I guess now he, he can talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'm, I'm happy that he's, I don't know. That he's he can talk about all this now and and is not like gonna argue with fans vaguely, but right, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm sure there's only so much you could you could do with to defend with, your movie before this all comes out. Yeah, but but speaking of the post credit scene, oh, the second one, or well, oh, I actually, oh, want to, okay. still want to just touch on the first one sure. real quick. I do. We were kind of having a debate after the movie if we think Shazam's going to show up later on or the justice society is going to show up later right. on. And in, I didn't know about this information until Ian sent me the, the, like the, the, whatever the post like afterwards, a little mm -hmm. bit after. And, um, even with this new information, I, they still put this post credit scene in. Yeah. And they didn't have to. Sure. And I'm not saying that Shazam's going to, show up because he might not. And you could easily write this off as um Economos and whoever Harcourt's uh is it Harcourt? Yeah Harcourt. That's her act that's, that's not her the actual actress. Last okay, name. Yeah. yeah. Uh not the actress's no, last no, no, name. No, but the okay, characters. Right. Yeah. So Harcourt and Economos, you could just say they were kind of annoyed by Shazam because he mm. was being annoying. Sure. And they walked off and been like, you you could easily be like, yeah, he's no, not right for us. No, no, no. Yeah. Right. But 
the fact that like Waller said, go get the get this person mm -hmm. and that they are talking about the Justice Society. And they and they kept this post credit scene in. I do think that at, at least in some form, probably in the Waller show or for something, the Justice Society, Society will come into play. Yeah. I don't I, know if Zachary Levi will. Right. Which like, I would love for Zachary Levi to stay as long as maybe he, he was... Would? As long as he's written a, a better than than this movie. That's my thing is that you have to... Like, you, you now have to pander to, like... The way he acts, like which for, could for this work character. really well in an R-rated way. How so? Like him, if you you'd have to write him the right way, but him uh -huh. being this like child, seeing like horrific violence occur, yeah, or even like accidentally causing it, mm -hmm. could be funny, and him reacting to it, yeah, potentially. Yeah. I guess I'm. I was more thinking that like you need to pander to like the way he acts, as in like get a younger child who is more hyper and right. excitable uh, to match like the, the kid version of him. But yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, it's, that. I, yeah, I mean, that's just the thing is like the, the actor that plays Billy Batson, like young Billy Batson is just so, so much older now that the, just, the, the idea of Billy as yeah. a kid. Oh, that too. It's right. just like the idea of Shazam is like, just kind of, not right because like after this it is. after this you're like well the next time we'd see him would be like when he's 20 or 21 like do we need a uh a, a billy in like late college doing shazam stuff i don't really know yeah yeah that's really really what we want to take the character yeah and and then with that being said there is a second post credit scene which is a follow-up to the post credit scene of the first movie which is it's fine. I, I ended it's, up rewatching that first end credit scene. I found it last night. Yeah. Um, and it's it's very similar. Yeah. Like it's, it's pretty much the exact. Yeah. Which and this one's kind of it is. I do think it's funny because I, I think he's it's like funny in that I've way been too. waiting for two years. Right. I'm 56 years old. I don't even know what your plans are. And he's like, <laughs> I'll tell you after I do this one thing. <laughs> just like goes off and it is. Yeah. It's funny and I think. No, I've never seen, I've never seen, um, like a movie, like, you know, and you know how like in, in the first Tom Holland, Spider-Man, they just kind of ignore the Scorpion, uh, end credit scene. Sure. Yeah. 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 I, I, I've never seen one where they like set up something for the next movie, <laughs> ignore it. And then they're like, no, no, actually let's just add on to it in another end credit scene. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's, it's creative enough. I like it. I do like um, it. I well, I I really want to see whatever that is happen though. It, we we're not going to see it unfortunately, but yeah, I'd I like don't to know. know. We could. <laughs> it's weird I, enough that I feel like it could happen. I mean, like I feel like James Gunn would be like that that thing though. Like that could work. Yeah, but you'd have to keep whatever that name character's name is from the first movie. Yeah, yeah, Doctor Michael something, not Morbius. No, but, it's you know. it's um. It's Savannah. Savannah, okay. Or Sa Savannah. Yeah. Um, I just want to see what what, what I do, it is. I do too. You know? Yeah. Maybe we'll like figure out from the director what his plans were if this like truly gets canceled. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll see because it is. What did it come out? What was the box office? It, yeah. So box office uh, was the lowest non-pandemic uh, DC movie, and it, it opened at thirty point five million. For the weekend. Yeah. So pretty low. Pretty low. Pretty low. Uh, don't see it doing anything better than break even. So. Yeah. I mean. Break even would be nice. Yeah. Right. Sure. I would. I mean. I don't know. I guess it, do, it doesn't really matter to me. Since I'm okay with this being swept under the rug. Right. With the rest of DC. Right. So. Yeah. If you. We do not have a review yet. Of our podcast, oh. we have, it's not been rated or reviewed. So if anybody uh -huh. wants to be the first one, we will take a picture, we will frame it, we will put it up. It'll be on our Instagram. If you want to leave our first review, it has yeah. to be a positive one, and you'll be ingrained into the last week, this week lore, lore, so. history, canon, <laughs> all of it. Yeah, if you, uh, yeah, if you liked what you, uh, what you listened to today, then, and if you want your your review in, uh, ingrained in our lore, then. Uh, please give us a review. Uh, but yeah, if you also liked what you what you listened to, then um, 
we release on Fridays and Saturdays usually. And if you want to listen to that, we are uh, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Podbean. Uh, if you want to check us out on our social medias, we are at Last Week This Week Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, we are not that on YouTube, but uh, go check us out there as well. Um, and yeah, and uh, if you want to support us, give us a like, a rating, a comment, uh, and and Zach will definitely follow, subscribe. Yeah, Zach will definitely comment uh, to your comments. If you specifically want Ian, I'll bug him, and yeah. you can go. Yeah, I'll, if you he'll, want a request he'll, he'll from me, then I'll yes, I will, <laughs> I will, I will, I will talk to you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you very much for for supporting and listening, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, until next time. <laughs>